Fora TV. Idea Immersion. Visit us at www.fora.tv. These are some of the highlights of the scandal. It is an incredible story. Uh, it's not going to end with the election. These other investigations are underway. There's at least one former Bush administration official, the number two in the Interior Department, Stephen Griles, who was an energy lobbyist before the Bush administration, and he left about a year ago, year and a half ago, and went back into lobbying. Once again, an energy lobbyist. Uh, he is being looked at in the scandal. And while Grover Norquist, uh, one of Abramoff's oldest friends, along with Ralph Reed, Grover Norquist being the leader of the powerful Americans for Tax Reform, who benefited from Abramoff's clients, who allowed his organization to be used as a conduit, again, to funnel some of the funds to Ralph Reed, the former Christian coalition leader who did not want publicity, who had to have his monies, the $6 million he was paid by Abramoff's clients, sent through conduits and shells. Uh, Norquist Group is maybe facing some scrutiny, tax issues, not criminal issues. Reed, as far as we know, is not facing criminal issues, but his reputation took such a beating in this scandal that as you probably know, his race, his first race ever for elective office this year, in the small position of Lieutenant Governor of Georgia, which he was considered an absolute shoo-in for late last year when he announced his race. Reed, who'd been a top advisor to the Bush campaign in 2004, helped run strategy for five southern states, and was a trusted confidant of Karl Rove, former head of the GOP in Georgia, he was seen as all but, you know, in office. And then the scandal news started to pick, pick up. And more and more details of how he received money funneled through conduits because he didn't want his reputation as a opponent of gambling stained by the fact that he had worked for Abramoff's gambling clients. His niche, his work was mainly to help Abramoff protect his gambling clients by knocking off other tribes and other gambling entities nearby that might have posed threats to Abramoff's clients. So Ralph Reed took his Rolodex, his old friends from the Christian Coalition days, called them up, said, hey, we have a good cause. How would you like it to help rally social conservatives, religious conservatives against that casino down the road there? Most of these people did not know, but Reed surely did, that the reason they were working so hard to knock off these casinos was because they posed a threat to Abramoff's clients. These are extraordinary scams. It's an extraordinary corruption scandal. It's going to be going on for months more, and um, I'm glad you're all interested in it, and I'll be glad to answer any questions now.